Hi, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I have been spending the past few days uh, just north of Seattle before I head to Sew Expo. And I am staying at a very special place. So I thought I would give you guys a little house tour and show you all of the incredible things that this little hideaway has to offer. It is truly a maker's dream paradise. So let me turn the camera around and I will show you around. All right, here we are inside the house. Super cute, every little area, so sweet. And all the furniture and everything is just so cute. You'll see more as we walk through. But here is the very first bedroom and each bedroom is color coded. So this is the aqua room and all of these quilts are handmade um, by the women that own the retreat. And I don't know, it's just such a wonderful personal little touch. So this is a super cute one bedroom right off the front. We will head down those stairs very soon. You're gonna wanna see what's down there for sure. But here's the living room. They have some like Seattle magazines if you wanna go, um, if you wanna go take some tours. But the living room, plenty of seating. There's a beautiful little fireplace. And then big, huge picture windows. Out to the patio, we'll go out there in a second. Large dining room, which is really nice. Here's the kitchen. Obviously, you know, all the appliances, just like a regular house. They have all these fun little things. Like look at this fun little button puzzle. We put this together last night. It took like a couple of hours, but you know, a maker themed puzzle, <laughs> super, super cute. Um, let's head outside so I can show you this incredible view. You guys can hear the birds and the wind chimes, but look at this property. It goes all the way back there to the tree line. You guys can see some of the snow-capped mountains back there and wraps all the way around. Cute little seating area, some furniture. Uh, this is a doorway into a bedroom. I wonder if we can go in through there and loop back around. This one might probably locked. It's locked. But yeah, it's beautiful. There's all this beautifully landscaped down here, little gardens, little paths. And I guess those vines out there are grape vines. So those will grow in here shortly. And the weather warms up a little bit. But here's another view of the kitchen. And I know I have some lamps on, but the natural light in here really is beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, coming around to see the other bedrooms and bathrooms. One little bathroom here. Cute. And then in here is the blue room. They have other names like for birds, but I'm not very good uh, with bird names. So um, I go by the color. But look at this little view. Another little patio out there. And then like the shed view. So cute. We have the master next. So cute, right? Uh, master bedroom is pink. This is where I've been staying. Cute artwork, a little pink chair is adorable. And you know, you noticed all the quilts are different in each of the bedrooms, which is again, such a nice touch. Here's the door I tried to come in through from the outside, so that's fun. And then I get a full bathroom, shower, tub, sink, very lived in this weekend, closet with all my clothes. And now we will come around down into the basement. where all the magic really happens. All right. You 
come down here and you have like a little kitchenette and then ta-da! Just let you guys take this all in for one second. Amazing, am I right? So over here we have ironing stations that have like amazing light. I mean, look at that overhead lighting for the ironing station. And then we've got a bunch of work tables. They also have their own individual lights. And then we have these massive cutting tables, truly massive. Um, these ones are for quilters because they have the more accurate grid cutting, but obviously, you know, you can remove those and just have your cutting table. And then another bay of workstations. So cool. And then incredibly thoughtful is this little um, like lounge area for hand sewing, knitting, crocheting, any of your needlework. And it's really nice because this whole little area is just right off of the workroom. So if you're doing one thing, you're not isolated from the rest of your friends and the rest of your group, um, which is really, really cool. Also down here, we have a fun little selfie mirror <laughs> um, and another bathroom. So you don't have to go all the way upstairs, whoops, for any of that. Cute, and then here is the coral room. Let's see if I can find a light in here. Here's the coral room that has three large beds. So you could totally just work all day on your sewing projects and then stumble your way into one of these beds and be ready to do it all again the next day. Another beautiful quilt, right? So one last thing I wanted to show you guys was just um, the view from the basement area and kind of what's out here and all right so you come out here and you have a little picnic table so you could have your lunches or glass of wine whatever and then rocking chairs for coffee and all of that and here's that view again really really stunning All right, so as you can imagine, this has been a very fun and relaxing place to prepare for the craziness that will be so expo. Um, if I'm ever in the Seattle area again, I'm just going to stay here always. <laughs> this place is really, really great. I haven't had a ton of time to sew and like fully use the um, like the sewing work creator area. But as you can imagine, it is primed and ready to go for any project you could possibly imagine, which is really, really great. So if you're going to come to the area or you want to plan like a little sewing um, sewcation for you and your friends, this is the place to do it. It's been really, really awesome. So I leave here today um, to head to Puyallup um, and I'll be meeting lots and lots and lots and lots of you which is so 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 exciting so it should have been really nice to kind of just decompress get on the time zone kind of get used to the weather a little bit um before the madness so it's just it's really really been awesome i'm very very blessed to be able to stay here but um but yeah i'll have a link in the description box where you i'll take you to the link for this property where you can learn more about it check out reservations price and all that kind of good stuff so head to the description box to check that out but i'm going to leave you with the view that's going to do it for me today <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye